signal crossings from the Traverse City Zoo train. We're gonna go check out this new location of the Traverse City Zoo train right now. Well, you can see all this track here is new, Nick. All right, here we are. This is, the caboose was never part of the original train when it was at the zoo or Quinch Park, but the three passenger trains here, the green, yellow, and red were just like this. Uh, Whether or not these are the same ones, I don't know. Quarter scale. Oh, look at that, it's quarter scale. Do a bit of 150 PSI boiler, that's pretty high pressure. Weighs about 3,000 pounds. Each car is 1,500 pounds, can seat 8 to 12 adults. And here's the train. And a little water tower they have set up for it. They've done a nice job of preserving the train here and keeping it operating when the city of Traverse City had no idea what they wanted to do with it. And look at that, it's been freshly painted and all redone. It looks really, really nice. And this runs on diesel fuel. has a little steam boiler here with a passenger a driver's seat and all the controls such as they are right there for it all very modern looking for a steam engine and the firebox runs the boiler which heats up the water and makes the steam which powers the whistle and the locomotive motors steam motors down here it's a very cool little train i remember riding it when i was a kid in traverse city back in the late 60s and my kids rode it during the 80s and 90s growing up and now here it is at the steam engine grounds up here so you see the train line